Hello friends, it's me, and today we're checking out some really cool inventions that I saw on TikTok. It's a pot, but it spins. So instead of like constantly stirring it, you just keep throwing the ingredients in it and it like stirs itself. Noodles, done. You see how fast that was? Why is this the first time I'm seeing this? This was very efficient. Stir fry in a few minutes? This whole time we've been wasting time just like flipping the noodles, sauteing the sauce. When you could put your saucepan on a spin cycle and just there is this little exfoliation device. At first I thought it was a stone, but she like filled it up with water. So it's a sponge. Ah, and then just like exfoliate. I can't tell if that's like the skin or parts of the sponge peeling off. But if you've ever like exfoliated your skin, sometimes you could just like, and like a bunch of it peels off like that. And it's really satisfying. Scrub yourself some new legs, brand new back. What will they do? And I try to use that excuse one. And it's always a good day when I get one of these videos that pop up on my feed, but this is different. This guy has the Iron Man mask in real life, but that's not it. A liquid venom suit? I'm sorry, what? Where's this technology coming from? 3D print the venom suit on you? How? I feel like I've been like sleeping under a rock for all these years and I just woke up and they've discovered all this technology. Bouncing Captain America shield? Oh, that's cool. But Thor's hammer! Oh, wait, hold on a sec. Is that like lightning? Oh, Oh, scared me. I thought lightning was literally like attracted to the hammer in real life. But I think it's just coming out of the hammer. It's not going from the sky on the hammer. That would be too OP. We are not prepared for that. That would be like actual Thor in real life. The green gobbler glider. Drip Lizzy gobbler glider. Green goblin glider in real life. It's floating. Where are you getting these things from? eBay? You got connections? I feel like this is like military grade technology. Maybe he built it. <gasps> A self-tightening suit. <gasps> oh, I'm freaking out about this. The plug suits in Evangelion, they literally do this. And I'm like, whoa, that's like such cool technology. Too bad we can't have that in real life. You press a button and then the suit like tightens on you. So it fits perfectly. I can't believe like it actually exists. Spidey wall climbers. You can literally climb a building with them. Okay, that has got to be the sickest collection of real superhero gadgets I have ever seen. <laughs> this would be me at 2 a.m. Bonus points if you have neighbors on the top floor. Whoa, this is an open sign. But like rotate the gears and it's closed. How'd y'all do that? Oh, we gotta watch this in slow-mo. Oh, the letters go upside down. To say closed. Where did the D come from? Pop that out of the back. Oh wait, no, the D is the O. Oh. The O. Wait a second. Is the D the P? No. The P turns into the CL, and then they did some bamboozling to pull out that D. It was chilling in the back. Okay, that's very neato. The solution will blow your mind. We'll see about that. I don't know about this one. Y'all really can't wait until you get home to really chow down, enjoy your meal. We're gonna take out our boiga, dump the fries on top, and then stick the straw in the hole. Don't get me wrong, if you're like in a movie theater or if you're like walking around somewhere, having this fast food setup would be sick. I'm just not a big fan of eating in a car. I wanna sit down at a table, preferably made of wood, to enjoy my meal. A giant dog bed for humans. My mom actually actually sent me this video. She was like, dang, this looks comfy. It's just basically like a bean bag. I mean, at this point, can't you sleep on your bed? I thought this was a good idea until I saw it was like $500. Nah, I'll be sleeping on my couch. I think my dogs would really enjoy this. No, you have your own dog bed, but they would still jump in this one and act like it's theirs. My dogs are entitled to all my possessions. They act like they make the money. They pay the rent. They own the house. Oh, those are eggs? <gasps> it's a hard boiled egg holder. But once you put the egg in, it becomes penguin. Oh, that is extremely cute. I don't know how you get them out though without breaking them. Thank you for using me. <laughs> I did not like that one bit. Now the trash cans be talking to us? You didn't even put anything in it. What's next? Is it gonna curse me out if I don't recycle my plastic bottle? I am afraid. I like them better when they were silent. You know why they probably did this? Because some people really need a little pat on the back for every little thing that they do. Oh, you actually threw away an empty water bottle that's been sitting on your nightstand for three weeks? Wow, good job, you're doing great. Bruh. Is that a, like one of those dog drinking fountains? Oh no, 
Whoa! It just looks like it, but it's for rinsing your brushes. You mean some people are just too good for like rinsing all your brushes in a dirty mug? I think somebody accidentally drank their dirty paint water out of the mug and decided to create this. Or you could just do a little rinsey rinse and then flush the filthy paint water. That's cute. It's a good idea, but I would not use it. Things that make sense. Pan is so hot that they have this spray and it is like a cooling spray. You just spray a flat surface. Oh, it's alive. It's like the consistency of gum and it's super cold and minty. So you just spray it on yourself and it's like ice cold, refreshing. Oh man, spray this on the back of your neck, on your sweaty, musty pits. No, that might be too cold. Why don't they have this in America? I know we have like gel that's like cold and it's like minty, but usually it's for pain. This one's just for straight up cooling you down. Also, it's like slime in a can. Cooling slime in a can. Where do y'all come up with this? Japan got an answer for everything. I made worms that eat plastic. What? By colonizing their guts with plastic degrading bacteria that I trained for years to become perfect at a simple job. So they just like live off of plastic, breaking plastics down to their organic building blocks and utilize them as carbs and energy, turning plastic into food with zero toxic remains. Oh, they be going crazy on this piece of styrofoam. And like it's a Thanksgiving turkey. Wait a second, this is like revolutionary. You trained these worms to eat plastic and they've evolved so that they can just digest plastic and it gives them nourishment? Am I overreacting or is this like insane? Cause plastic takes like forever to degrade and there's just so much like plastic waste but these worms could like eat it. You'd need a lot of worms. Enough that they might eat all the plastic and take over the world. This is an attachment you could buy for your faucet and every time you turn on the water, the lights come on. Gamer water, gamer water, RGB gamer water. The best way to wash your hands. Man, if I was a kid and I had this, I'd be washing my hands all the time. If you ever wondered how they package fruit in those nets, this is how they do it. All the oranges like come down and then somebody just ties them up. It's like a netting device. I'm very efficient. Hand bagged one bag at a time. Ah, what a horrible day to wear white. Stomp through the mud with it. Nah, but for real, where do I get one of these? Why do rain boots exist? Well, we can, you're good to go. So there is this store that sells baby strollers and in the store, they have different surfaces to test the strollers. That's how you know the strollers are probably hella expensive. Oh, you can walk your baby on any terrain. But the real question is, can you take your baby off-roading? I don't see no rock trail. In Singapore, they have this really cool invention where if you're elderly or disabled, they will give you a special card that will literally let you hack the crosswalk. So you get a longer countdown, so more time to cross the road. Just scan your card. Genius. Imagine if there was one where you could just like scan it. Instant crossing. Okay, now that's hack. In Norway, there is a bicycle escalator. So if there is a road that is very steep and uphill and your quads aren't jacked enough to ride vertically, there is a bike escalator. You put your foot on it and it'll just like push you up. This is the first time I'm seeing this and I'm just like, what? Why are we so behind on technology that I have like never heard of any of this? But last time I went skiing, they had something like this. There was like a very steep uphill on the slope and you basically just like grab a rope and it'll like pull you up the hill. It kind of yanked me. Very roughly, almost dislocated my shoulder. You know, maybe calm down a little. My university sent me a wallet size diploma. So if you ever have to like show proof to your employer, look, I graduated college. Here's my proof. No digging through all your junk drawers, trying to find your diploma. You just pop this in your wallet. Here it is. It's so cute too. Or are you trying to flex your education to your crush? <laughs> Ooh, it's small, it's right in my pocket. At this one art gallery in France, they have the touching versions of the painting. So if you're blind or visually impaired, you could still enjoy the art, which is crazy to me. They turned the art into a sculpture. So you can literally like stand there and feel it. Wow. My spatula has a little stand so it doesn't touch the counter. By now, 2022, why isn't this all spatulas? I always gotta like rip a piece of the packaging, put it on the counter or a little dirty tissue so I could put my spatula on it. But there's one with a little stand. Utensil companies need to do better. I wanna see more of this. My wife got me a magnet bracelet for holding onto screws as I fix things. Oh, that's smart. So instead of like fumbling them, picking them up, by the way, very hard to do with my nails. If I ever have to hang something up, I struggle one screw at a time. But you got a magnetic bracelet, you just like pop them on. Oh, 
The screw I need? Excellent. I am very excited for these inventions. In Italy, they have pet carts in the grocery store. So you can bring your dog to the grocery store. Now, most places in America, they don't allow pets anywhere that has food. They act like you're gonna go ham in the meat aisle. Just rip the ground beef packets apart. But no, he is well behaved, as you can see. I would take advantage of this. Actually, I don't take my dogs out that often because one, they have anxiety when they're like out in public because they don't go out in public that much and also I don't like people touching my dogs I'm sorry I kiss my dogs I rub them all over my face my dogs are clean but if like random people which I don't know where their hands have been start like touching my dogs petting them like I don't want to be putting my mouth and face all over that this is super smart they built their stairs with hidden drawers in the perfect place to put your shoes yeah this looks like a good idea until you accidentally like running down the stairs with some socks on and then you slip and one of them pulls out now not only do you have some cool drawers what a twisted ankle and a broken shin was it worth it I think so. hello friends it's me today we're checking out some really cool inventions that is a dangerous game you're playing that looks slippery hey y'all are gonna fall non-slip oh they weren't kidding they really made non-slip shoes how is this possible you can now trample through a liquid incline hey these are kind of like next level i'm amazed <laughs> hey is that a lightsaber it really is it is not complete yet y'all are gonna have to wait a few more years are you telling me there's gonna be lightsabers in my lifetime i need to see this happen i grew up with water guns next generation gets to grow up with lightsabers not fair so i don't know if you guys have this problem too but every time i try to listen to music in the shower i can never find a place that my phone stays still or dry at the same time and even when it seems to work out, it doesn't stay still for long enough. Bro, you better stop before I call Apple Care for abusing your phone. How many times are you gonna drop it before the whole thing shatters? So he 3D printed this device where you just slide on your shower door, put your phone in. After all that iPhone torture, just put it in jail and force it to play music while you shower. Torture device? No, 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 no. Apple peeler. This seems very inefficient. I'd rather just take a knife and just do, 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 do. I mean with a knife there's a greater chance of hurting myself. Oh wait, it's not just a peeler, it's a spiraler. It's made a spiral out of an apple and it takes out the core. Okay, you know what? Sign me up. This is lit. I would eat more apples if they look like that, but I'd like the apple skin. That's where the fiber's at. What is she clipping onto her hair? Are those jewels? Jewels that you could just like clip them onto your hair? It's like bling for your hair. Why have I never heard of this? So they're just like rhinestones. And then you have a bedazzler. And it just sticks? How do you get it off? Is, is it like sticky? Like a sticker? Like a hair sticker? Oh my goodness, this looks gorgeous. It's so fun. You know, back in the day, we had a bedazzler. You could like bedazzle your clothes, your shoes, your socks. But your hair, it looks magical. 10 out of 10 purchase random amazon finds it just slap this tape looks like regular tape but it sticks only to itself and nothing else it's stretchy reusable and perfect for organizing loose items like charging cables playing cards and even arts and craft supplies tape that only sticks to itself but like is it sticky imagine if it's not sticky but it knows to stick to itself hey that's kind of crazy it's How much better than that? rubber bands and zip ties plus it doesn't leave any residue like regular tape is it like plastic wrap plastic wrap isn't sticky but plastic wrap like sticks to itself and other surfaces so they made like plastic wrap tape is my guess i don't know that's pretty neato though after 420 prototypes i finally created the world's first reusable water balloon oh so you just fill them up with water it takes less than three seconds just dip them in the water and then oh these are genius they're called aqua balls. I mean, that's what they are. But do they hurt as much as water balloons? Will my opponent suffer the same fate? You know, the worst thing about water balloon fights is that you gotta clean up all the rubber after. But with this, you just pick it up and reuse it? Genius. Things I didn't know existed until my girlfriend bought it. This is an automatic can opener. I do not trust these things. I like the good old manual one. But you just pop this on top of any can. Doesn't matter what shape it is. Here's a rectangular one. I mean, it has a tab that you can pull off for a reason. But never mind, never mind. Just try it out. They can open any shape. Weird. Even after seeing it in action, I still don't trust it. You have to put batteries in it. And I feel like there is a chance that it will not function. And it's like, what is the point when I can grab a normal can? can opener and just there's no problem sometimes i just don't trust technology stuff on amazon you might actually need 
This is a laundry turtle and all you have to do is just place it in the laundry when the laundry is dry, rotate it around, and then you can easily take it out without having to put your whole arms in and most likely lose the sock. Oh. Then once you're done, you can easily fold it up and store it out of the way. What? That's sick. I take all the laundry and I just like throw it out onto the ground and then I just fold it on the ground. But if you have to pick it up and take it somewhere, I feel like it's not gonna get everything. There is a chance you will lose a sock or two. But no, he got everything in one fell swoop. Nah, I would not easily fold it and store it out of the way because I'd be doing laundry every other day. Okay, this is pretty neato. I didn't even know this thing existed. Be putting the dollar store laundry baskets out of business. What is this funny beetle looking device? Oh, it removes your boots? It's called a beetle boot jack. And you basically step on it to remove your boots. This whole time I've been asking my friends to take my boots off. Can you pull these off? When there was a device for it? I will be purchasing one. on TikTok, somebody has a real life jetpack. Like they exist. Bro, it's straight out of Advanced Warfare. Go ahead, try it out. Oh, he's flying over the water. Okay, now do a flip. It's actually working. No way, he got on the boat. What? Okay, that's sick. Now put on an Iron Man suit. Best invention ever. Basically, if you have a dirty glass, this is what they got at Starbucks. For the baristas to quickly clean everything, you just put the dirty glasses over the device and it blasts them with water. Clean cup? This dude unzipped a hidden pocket. Hey, yo, what is that? Please don't tell me this is a portable toilet. Bro, this is gonna squat down in the middle of the street corner? No, wait, is that a dog? Did he just put a dog in there? Why would you let a dog in there? I thought he was just gonna like let it rip. Why'd you put the dog in there? Free him, he can't breathe. Literally trapped him next door to your fart box. I don't know who thought this adult diaper looking luggage was a good idea. They got self-drawing robots now? Okay, but let's see what he can actually do. I thought he was gonna make a perfect circle, but nope. Even the robot couldn't do it. He's drawing a bear? Oh no, it's a piggy! This is what you humans look like to me. Have you ever seen a human draw like this? With two hands, just... I think he's onto something. A portable fan. Y'all brought it to the lake? For what? You can put water directly in the fan and it'll blow cold air at you. All right, I don't know why all fans aren't built like this. It's like if you put water in it, you will be even cooler. Hey, fan companies, listen up. Put some water with the air, it blows cool air. Haven't y'all watched Frozen? Start taking notes. Hey, where was this when I was a kid? So you paint your nails and then put it through this funny little guy who looks like that one Pokemon. Chansey! Mother always warned me about putting fingers in holes. But if you put your finger in this hole, you get a little stamp on your nail. All right, pretty neato. Don't you hate when you open the yogurt? There's so much stuff stuck on the lid. No, I actually don't mind it at all. Usually the yogurt that's on the lid is hard and it tastes significantly better than the rest of the yogurt in the cup. So I like licking the yogurt off the lid. But anyways, in Korea, they made a yogurt phobic lid. No, that means no matter how much the yogurt touches the lid, it will not stick. Even if you put it upside down, shake it up a little bit, it's not gonna stick. There's not gonna be a single drop of there you have it, not a single drop of yogurt. Was it really that much of an issue? Like we got hundreds or thousands of Karen complaining on the daily that some of their yogurt has been stuck to their lid. And they're like, okay, we will devote all our time and resources to making a yogurt repellent lid. And they did, nice. It is boring when we poop, so I made a fitness toilet. Are you bored when you poop? I got my phone. I be scrolling through TikToks. Now I'm having a great time. Do some people just stare at the wall? Like, wow, I'm so bored. When will this pain and suffering be over? Anyways, I made a fitness toilet. You need to pull hard to get it right. It can not only exercise our body, but also bring us fun. Oh no, you playing a dangerous game here. You're sitting on the toilet, waiting for the poop to drop, but the toilet is like moving away so you have to time it perfectly like pull the rope make sure your hole is aligned with the toilet hole and then let it drop I'm gonna have to pass on this one tell me you're lazy without telling me you're lazy what I have programmed that? this robot slave to press the backspace <laughs> every minute so I constantly show as online they made 
need a robot slave so I can sit here and watch TV while the teachers think I'm online doing my homework like a good diligent student kind of smart though OMG, where was this when I almost swallowed a bug? It closes your lid? Wait, how did it close the can? You just slide it onto the lid and then rotate it, closes the hole. So if you like to sippy sip your drink, you cannot just chug the whole thing in a few seconds. It'll protect you from things getting inside your drink. I always be walking around like this with my hand over the top of my drink until I finish it. I think it's more efficient than remembering to bring a whole device to seal my drink with. Let's be real, I'll probably forget it only can and then just end up throwing it away and I'm like, oh no, my bottle topper. This bed is so cool. What's it made of? It's like a stuffed animal. Upholstered bed. It's like a noodle box. So you can choose to sleep with the walls up or the walls down. What's the point of even having it down? Just leave it up. We'll feel like you're asleep in a cup of noodles. I would feel so safe. No fear of rolling off the bed. No monsters. They will not be able to get you. You are safe in this bed. Hello friends, it's me, and today we're checking out some really cool gadgets. You know, summer's coming up, that means fly infestations. So this is a fly trap, unlike anything you have ever seen. It doesn't actually kill them, it just traps them, and then takes them into the basement to fly around with other flies and think about their actions. You know, the crime of being a fly. Go be a fly outside, not on my patio, not in my house, and not around my food. It's the ultimate fly torture device. Like they can't do nothing. Will they end up eating each other? They'll just fly till they die. I'm getting me one of these. <gasps> this is so creepy. I don't like it one bit. It is a webcam shaped like a human eye. Ooh, it's like watching you. What is it like moving its eyeball looking around for? Oh, it's detecting your face and other movement. And then you can just cover it to turn the eye off. Uh-uh. I don't trust it one bit. I already know every time I walk into my room, this little eyeball gonna be looking me up and down. Now I just have a representation of the FBI agent controlling it, spying on me. Ooh! A few years ago, I tried out this watermelon slicer that worked great, but now they have one for mangoes. Mangoes are kind of annoying to cut. You're telling me this slicer slices it in half and then it just peels the skin right off. They took that off easier than I take off my socks. That was smooth. I gotta try it out. If you're ever paranoid about forgetting to turn off your flat iron or your curler, there is a timed plug attachment that you can buy where you plug in your hot tools and it has a timer. So it's like, I want this on for 30 minutes and then it automatically turns off. But what if you forget to press the button? And then a few hours later you come home and your house is burned down. Imagine if your parents put this on your computer or your PlayStation. Nah, you can only play for 30 minutes. Automatically turns off after that. Don't get any ideas. There is a strainer straw. So you make tea, you still got the tea leaves in it. Instead of straining them before you put it in the glass, you just use a straw and no large objects will go through. Oh, she just drinking straight up cereal milk and then I'm gonna eat the soggy cereal after? I can't back you up on that one. You know, we also have a cool thing called a spoon. The perfect pillow, your boyfriend's arm. Oh, that's good. No more complaining that his arm is gonna go numb when you wanna take a little nap. When there is a hole that he can put the arm through and y'all can spoon and slumber. Oh, he made a full body one. When your crush says she's tired. Do you want a mattress? I'll be your mattress. Right here, right now. Oh man, I love these. When I was younger, I had Heelys, but they were nothing like this. These are roller skates and they just pop out and then you can pop them back in. Those are nice. Like imagine being in a rush, you turn the wheels on. This is the cutest soap I have ever seen. You just like pump it with the palm of your hand and then it's a flower, but you have to destroy it to wash your hands. But you have that brief moment of, ooh, look, a flower. Ooh. You can buy a tabletop dishwasher, like just on Amazon? That's genius. Like if your apartment doesn't have a dishwasher, that's so cool. It's just basically a mini dishwasher. Oh, if it's a lot. Oh, you fill it up with water. I was wondering how that works. Like you don't have to hook it up to water, you just plug it in. And then it drains into your sink? Oh, that's smart. I love that. They're actually clean. The price of not doing your dishes. I was gonna say priceless, but it's actually $400.
If you're a huge baby and scared of spiders, but to need to remove them off your property, there is this device that you can buy. It's a bug grabber. It looks like they're gonna escape. They're gonna, oh, we picked him up. I was like, no way. His little legs gonna get right through the hole. He didn't even put up a fight. I think he was already dead. You know, when you grab him, just throw the whole thing away. Wait for them to crawl away before you take it back. Where do you guys live that you got spiders this big? No, I kind of just let spiders vibe in my house because I know they're eating the inferior Career bugs. Walking to the airport? No, not anymore. Now your luggage can literally take you there. And she turned it into a scooter. Look at this dude. He going faster than traffic. Look at all you idiots waiting in your cars. This dude going full speed on his luggage. Got to work faster than you suckers. And then you just like roll it back up. How do you control it? Does it just go in a straight line? Does it have GPS navigation? I can put in the address and it's going to take me there. Do the handles move? You can like pick the direction. How do you control where you want to go? It even has a phone charger. It's like if a Tesla was a luggage. It's really cool, but I'd be scared of falling off. I will never get over how cool this window cleaning device is. So you stick it on the outside window and then you clean the inside window. It's two-sided. It'll clean the outside while you clean the inside. That's cool. Look how clean it is. Oh, filthy window. Oh, this is what they use at the grocery stores. To seal the bread. Seal the popcorn. Bro, I would be sealing every single bag in my pantry. It just looks so fun. I know it's just tape. It's just taping it, but it's so satisfying how it does it. Nice. And you just pop it open like it's brand new. Bad cable management? No problem. You can buy a little hair clip for them. And then a snake sock that just like hides all of them. Is it that easy? Just like slide it over the wires. Congratulations. Instead of four skinny wires, you got one thick wire. It still look like a wire. What's the sexiest thing that you wear to bed? They make my nose holes bigger so I can breathe. Does this thing actually work? Like if your nose holes are like spread, you could breathe better. Wait, so I got some good sized nostrils, but I still can't breathe. But if they're like stretched out like this, I kind of want to test this out. I wonder if it helps with the stuffy nose because every time I lay down, my nose gets stuffy and then I have to like sleep on one side to like unclog one nostril and sleep on the other side to unclog the other. But will this unclog my nose and let me sleep snot free? I kind of want to try it out. Dirty mug. What? Um, that's suspicious. That's weird. Why does this look so wrong? I feel like there's a better way to do this. Who's scrubbing the Nutella with some Nutella? You gotta rinse it first before you start the scrubbing. You fool. I have never seen this before until now, but this sheet of paper is magnetic paper. I'm like, what? So it like sticks to anything magnetic? No, it makes the magnet in objects visible. So like iPhones have like the MagSafe magnet and then you put it over it and you can see it. It's kind of like magic. And then this phone has a little magnet right there. Why is that the bottom? Like a little butthole. Whoa, that's actually crazy. It's like an x-ray machine, but instead of bones, you see the magnets. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. I didn't even know such a thing existed. I want to get some put on all my electronics just to see where the magnets are. This is necessary knowledge I would like to have. They pulled up to their kids game with not one chair. They got six. That is six chairs in one. That is a bench. An expandable sofa. I didn't even know such a thing existed. And then you could all just sit together in a row. That's actually really cool. There is this clothing hanger. It's for pants, pants only. But wait, they stacked all their pants. <gasps> oh, I was like, wait, what's the point? Can't you just hang them up on individual racks? But it collapses so that they take up way less space. That means you can buy more clothes. This is actually genius and it looks so neat too. I will be purchasing this. Like you can save so much space doing this. When your toilet gets clogged, you're probably used to these plungers. But this one, next level plunger. I mean, how upgraded can a plunger be? Look, somebody flushed a toy down the toilet. It's stuck. How to get it out? Whoa, hey, that was quick. So it uses a CO2 cartridge to blast the pipes clean. So instead of like manually pushing it, it literally like blasts it. Tennis ball stuck in your pipe because somebody thought they could flush a tennis ball. Use the Mr. Pung. It literally blasted them into another dimension. I mean, wherever it blasted it to is not your problem anymore as long as your toilet can flush. 
Tiny pink robots delivering snacks in Toronto. Oh, it has heart eyes. You know, I know it's like a robot, but I'm kind of worried about the abuse this thing faces on a daily basis. How many people would be trying to rob the defenseless robot? And nobody gonna stick up for robots because there's no robot rights yet. Oh, it's so cute. It delivers your food. It's genius. I feel like so many people will try to like break into it and steal the food. You know, they should really add a self-destruct for when that happens. What you got there? Wait, is something going to replace all of these? Because I have a drawer like this. What is that? A cabinet vacuum? That makes it so easy. There's a vacuum for your drawers? Like a little electric toothbrush. Cleans up all the crumbs. So you take your plastic wrap and your aluminum foil, put it into this wooden holder. Oh, it slices it so easily. It even comes with labels. You know, if only the foil didn't come in its own box where you can just like pull it. Now every time you want foil you also have to take out the plastic wrap but I will admit it cuts the plastic wrap way better than the box it comes in because I hate those they can burn in the fiery pits of hell for such horrible packaging or maybe I just don't know how to use them so also storage organizers oh I mean they look nicer oh they don't take up less space they actually take up more space those were in the drawer now they gotta go in the pantry now we got less space in the pantry I know it looks nicer but it takes up more space and they don't fit perfectly in the drawer so there is a lid that you can buy called an ice cream guard that will protect your ice cream from freezer burn. I hate freezer burn. Yucky. So you just put it on your ice cream and wha-bam, no freezer burn. I mean, you could honestly just use like a plastic wrap, tuck it in before you put it away, but I mean, who got time for that? Or you just eat it in one sitting. Done. You know, that's the most effective way to prevent freezer burn. If you have a hard time finishing your little canned wink, there is a bottle attachment that you can get, stick it to the top, and just drink it later. Out of a bottle? I feel like they just snipped the top of a Gatorade bottle. Save canned drink for later. Okay, but what about the carbonation? It's gonna be flat. I like my sodies spicy. Oh, this is the thing I tried. This is the thing I tried, the cherry deep pitter. But it actually worked for five minute crafts. I tried to do it and it didn't work. But I also tried to pit olives that had a oval shaped seed. But I mean, it said it could do olives, but I guess it's more for cherries. Congratulations for doing what I couldn't.